Well, hello everybody. Welcome back to Best Life and Beyond. This is the Disneyland Halloween time must have food, snacks, and treats video. Yes, as you know, Halloween time is upon us here oh. at Disneyland Resort. It's fantastic. The park is decked out from head to toe in all of the fall festival. It is it is fantastic. That was a lot of Fs right there. Yeah, they've but gone we, yeah. they've gone full Halloween, Katie. Yeah, so what we found the best way to celebrate and get yourself in the mood is with food. Yes. Uh, we have a lot of our favorite food, snacks, and treats that we're gonna share with you. So in case you're coming to the Disneyland Resort uh, over this 2021 Halloween season, mm. you're gonna know all of our favorite things to eat at Disneyland. That's right. Speaking of that, I'm hungry. Let's go. Cadaver dance. <laughs> Which, I mean, technically we were talking about it, the cadaver dance are more like when they were on the Rivers of America, all like spooky and whatnot, but we, every time it's Halloween time, we just call them cadaver dance. You might as well, they're wearing their orange, they're, yeah. they're singing Halloween songs, and you know. I mean, they still look dapper, but yeah. they're the cadaver dance right now. They That's right. They kind of just embrace it. That's right. Okay, so we decided we're gonna start off over at the Hungry Bear yeah. and get the loaded fries. We're gonna share with you not only the loaded fries to start it off, but a really delicious treat that is seasonal and uh, everybody loves it. People so. are talking. It's, uh, a it's a talk about Main Street. It's the buzz around town. Yes. <laughs> you so think that's here. sweet? Where do you try this dessert we're gonna try over there? It's delightful. On our way to Hungry Bear, passing by Haunted Mansion Holiday and look, Look who is on the balcony, Jack and Sally, greeting their fans, telling them to have a dreadful day. Looks like they're leaving, we just caught them. Or they're gonna go to the side maybe, yeah. Uh, that is pretty cool though, if you can catch that, it doesn't happen all day. So, if you're lucky enough to catch that, keep your eyes open. All right, we have arrived, Hungry Bear Restaurant for our first stop for Halloween time. Must have food, snacks, and treats. Are you hungry? Check out these cool little uh, menu graphics. Loaded onion rings, there's those. Honey cream cold brew. Loaded fries, that's what we're getting. And of course, there it is. That's what we were teasing. Yes. Pumpkin cheesecake funnel cake. Yeah, so this isn't one of those things where we're gonna get all of these items and share them with you. We're going to get you the things that are must do. Like, if you're coming to Disneyland, these are the things you must have. Food, snacks, and treats. Okay, first up on our must have food, snacks, and treats for Disneyland Halloween time. These just made a triumphant return. Dun, dun, dun. These are here at the Hungry Bear. This is the loaded fries and loaded onion rings. They are so under, they're the best. You've this been asking since the park reopened. Mm -hmm. We came here very early on and we're like, where are the loaded fries? Where and the they were like, fries. we don't have them. We were like, what? So now we are going to give you a little, uh, you know, insight. These are not available to order on the mobile app. Not yet. Uh, the cheesecake, you can definitely order pretty much everything you can mobile order, but not the loaded fries and the loaded uh, onion rings. Hopefully that'll change, but for now that's that's yeah. kind of what's going on. And now another bonus is that these might not just be for the Halloween time, but they just happen to make their return for Halloween time, but we right. had to put these on the list because let's just say you're making a trip just for Halloween time, you don't want to miss the loaded fries and the loaded onion rings. They are our favorite. These are what we ate almost every day before the shutdown. Notice um, she's putting them closer to her face. Look at, yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> now, you might be saying, why are these so good? Let me just tell you, you get the best fries in our opinion that are at, a di at the Disney parks. 
uh, for some reason they just taste better at Hungry Bear, but they have this cheese sauce that runs throughout, and not just the cheese sauce, but you get the bacon crumbles and then the green onions. It's a combination that, that can't be missed. It's just that good. The it's a winning sauce, combination. The cheese sauce alone <laughs> is so worth it. Mm. Oh wow, food dance. Katie doesn't food dance a lot. Hey, so. Columbia. Oh yeah. I think they're gonna fire uh, very soon here. Mm. I think it's worth it for the uh, the loaded fries and oh, onion yeah. rings. Oh yeah. Right. Oh, this is a good bite, by the way, Spence. Those of you around the cannon, this is Who's gonna get it? Well, the cannon should be a mite loud. The cannon should be a mite loud. And the the aim be a mite. Uh oh, here we go. <laughs> Katie jumps. That should put some fear in him. Very good. Whoa. It's a monster bite there. Mm. If you know, you know. That's worthy of a cannon fire All from right, the Columbia. Spencer, here you go. Oh, thanks. Oh. Right? It is the best. It's simply the best. Man, I miss that. That. That is so good. Full flavor, like very full flavor on those. Something about that cheese sauce. The cheese sauce and the bacon and the cheese, it's the combo of everything. It's wildly, I mean, I, I don't have words. It's just. When you don't have words, it's that's just that good. Onion ring time. Here we go. O rings, as the kids call them. Mm, both are so good. Look right there. That. Right now. Getting you a good bite. Here you go. Oh boy. Oh! <laughs> oh. oh boy. Oh boy. It's so right. That is good because there's a little more texture. Um, the, the sweetness of the onion. It was a good idea that they did that as well as the fries, I have to say. It is now time for the pumpkin cheesecake funnel cake. We are so excited about this. This has been the talk of the town, the talk of the Disney town. People are talking. Yeah, so it basically has right here, this is some whipped cream. This is some ice cream, so it'll cool you off during the hot days. Oh yeah. And then this is the pumpkin cheesecake on there top. There it is, so you can see it. We're gonna cut into it and take a bite of the whole thing. We'll talk about like a, a professional bite here. Oh boy, the this everything bite. You, this is how you recap a perfect meal slash snack at Hungry Bear. I'm getting a couple bites ready. Yeah. Okay, got a fork with some whipped cream. Got some pumpkin. This is gonna be your bite with some pumpkin on the funnel cake. All right, cheers. <laughs> Mm. And that's from somebody, remember, Spencer isn't the most uh, cheesecake fan. I mean, I'm not. A pumpkin fan. Correct. You like cheesecake. I love cheesecake. But I have to say, that's pretty good. That's better than the pumpkin cheesecake at, um, Jolly, at Holiday. Jolly Holiday. That's why this is on our list of must-have. Oh, that's a must-have. Food, snacks, and treats for Halloween time at Disneyland. You know what it is? It's the ice cream that balances it out for me, mm -hmm. I have to say. Mm. Wow. That is so good. Highly recommend that. Yep, that's why it made the list. Made the list. Yeah, that is really good. I think it's the combination, like I said, of mm -hmm. all the flavors. And this, um, this pumpkin cheesecake, it's tangy. Yeah. And it's got like a good, uh, you know, I don't know what There's like it a is. cinnamon flavor to it. Yeah, it's got the tangy cinnamon. Which I think that's what saves it for me, mm -hmm. where it's less pumpkin-y and more cinnamon-y. Right, I probably have it all over my face right now, but. Actually you don't. That's a shocker. Yeah, it is a shocker. This is amazing though. Like this is absolutely must do. Number one on your list. Don't forget. So good. Hungry Bear, they have it. All right, we made our way over to Tomorrowland to Alien Pizza Planet because there's one thing that I'm hoping they have. They always seem to sell out of these things. We're gonna go in and check it out. There it is, that's what we're looking for. Vampire Alien Macaron 5.99, blackberry buttercream and lemon curd. Oh. 
There's also the Clausagna pasta, Campanelli pasta, tossed in ricotta cream sauce, topped with bolognese sauce, and breadcrumbs. Oh boy. Now it's not on our favorites list, but they do have the Supernova special. It's the Delicium 639 pizza slice, marinara, sausage, salami, assorted cheese. It's like an everything slice, basically. Also got pesto. Yum, yum. All right, there it is, the Clausagna. So it's, uh, it's Campanelli pasta tossed in ricotta cream sauce with bolognese and breadcrumbs. It's like a deconstructed yeah. uh, lasagna for all intents and purposes. And uh, it looks like the uh, the Campanelli is kind of, uh, you know, taking place of the sheets of pasta that you would normally have in a lasagna. Yeah, so uh, this is absolutely delightful. It is on the must list because it's so good and, and it's it, so filling. Well, and it's one of your favorite sauces, yes. bolognese. Yes, You're, I love a good bolognese. Yeah. You love ricotta. Yes. Um, now, we always add extra Parmesan on top because dust it, dust it. it needs it. I'm ah. telling you, the claw would approve. The claw. It is so good with a little bit of extra parm. And another reason this is on our list is because it is shareable. It is just delicious. Some people can mix it. Some people just take bites. I'm more of a like, I like to take the bites. Right. Some people do the whole mix situation, but it's literally lasagna deconstructed. It like smells like stuff. lasagna. It smells amazing. Mm -hmm. mm. That's on the must list for a good reason. Oh yeah. That tastes just like mm -hmm. lasagna. It's literally deconstructed lasagna. That's why it's on the list, because it tastes so much like lasagna. That's why I love it. That's why I said we gotta go grab that. It's even got a, a, a slight little bite to it. Yeah. The sauce has a little tiny little kick to it. A so little bit. Not, not much. Not bad. If, if she can handle it, then yeah. you're fine. Living mm. lasagna loca. So good. It's quite clossable that that is my favorite thing here. <laughs> that was pretty good. This is clossably the best thing I've had today. Okay. Ah. Ooh, someone sees our alien uh, vampire macaron from Pizza Planet over here. <laughs> uh, one of the best desserts. It definitely makes the list, not only because it tastes delicious and it'll turn your mouth wacky colors, but it is also super Instagrammable, and I mean, how cool does that look? look Am that. I right? <laughs> Isn't that awesome? <laughs> uh, the worst part is having to take a bite into this little face. You almost don't want to. I know. Look at these little fangs. You need to kind of get these early. They've sold out before, so yes. uh, if you do want to get one of these cute little alien vampire macarons, make sure you get over here quick. Yeah. Okay, we oh. are... Oh. I had to cut into him just so I can show you the inside. It's a uh, blackberry and then it has like a lemon curd on the inside. I think it's blackberry, it's some sort of berry. I think you're right. Uh, but then this is the lemon. Yep, that's it. It's just a nice little fruity treat. It's really good, it's got the best texture ever. Um, highly recommend. Uh. That feels like Halloween. I've got an eyeball and a fang. Mm. Mm. Oh. Is it better than you remember? Mm hmm It reminds me of like a frosted pop tart. Right. You know what I mean? Like well, on you steroids. I've had this one since 2019. It's so been a is long it time. Like you remember? Possibly. Possibly. Okay. It definitely belongs on the list of our must-haves for Halloween time here at the Disneyland Resort. Uh, it's a, it's a keeper. We made it over to Galactic Grill since we're in Tomorrowland. Yes, and uh, this one, this next item was in one of our videos. Uh, a lot of you understand how much we love it. We're gonna get it and show it to you right now for everybody who's new here. We had to put it in the must-have Halloween food and oh, treats. Uh, it is a must. So, that's an excuse to get it again, right? All right, this right here is the Blood Orange Slush. Now, if you watched our um, opening night video, we first tried this. I was a little pessimistic. I didn't think it was gonna be good. It's just a slush, right? No, this is a non-alcoholic icy beverage and it is so delicious. It's tangy, tart, just a smidgen of bitterness, but it is fantastic. It's got a raspberry puree going down the side. We're actually heartbroken that this is seasonal, but listen. Mm. Tastes like a sour 
gummy. Truly one of my most favorite drinks in any Disney park. If you know, you know, this is delicious. Come and get the blood orange slush. You won't regret it. All right, give me Spencer. A give me a, well, not a little, I'll have a Give lot. me a lot. Mm. Oh my gosh. Now you sip it because you can get some of that raspberry puree. Yeah, I don't like doing the straw, I like to just take the, the gulper. Now it's so good, it's so refreshing because it's normally hot here wow. uh, in, in September, October. It's yeah. really hot in Southern California, kind of like an oven heat. So this is fantastic for that. You know what it reminds me of? What? When I was in high school, LA Unified School District had these machines that were like slushy pink lemonade and it was like oh. a buck. And it kind of reminds me of that because they were very kind of um, tart like this. That's amazing. And, and it was the same consistency. That's what it reminds me of. If anybody uh, remembers those machines, it might have been in other school districts as well, but I'll tell you. It's so good. And you get a glow cube. It's amazing. It's so good, especially at nighttime. It's one of those awesome nighttime treats. Uh, it's Sorry, so I'm good. I'm taking this away. No, Bye. you're not. Later. <laughs> Give me my slush. Now, if you're over at Galactic Grill, the Darth by Chocolate, oh, oh, oh. fantastic. You will not be disappointed. Um, you know, the Sith, man. They, they, they got good air conditioning, they got great chocolate. No wonder people are tempted to cross to the dark side, I'm telling you. I'm already on the dark side, so, you know. Um, more slush for us, though. Look at she just takes it back. Like, this is good. Like I said, it's like a liquid sour gummy worm. It's it really so is. good. Like, mm. Kind of makes you like. <laughs> it's so good. I'm telling you, the fact that they have that raspberry uh, puree kind of swirled in there. Oh. So good. Hey, you guys, did you know uh, for Halloween this year they're doing the Ghost of the Fast Pass machines? Look at them. <laughs> Spooky Fast Pass ghosts. Whoa. Hey, Katie, uh, I think they're going to do an overlay for Dumbo. I don't know about this year, Adam, but I heard rumors. Dumbo. What do you guys think? Dumbo. Boo. <laughs> Dumbo. Right? We're waiting. Disney, we're waiting. All right, we're going to take a quick break and ride Haunted Mansion Holiday. The wait time is not as bad as it was, so we're dipping in. Look at that. Oogie Boogie's back in the moon. You were missed, my friend. On the first day of Christmas, my ghoul love gave to me. Look at that little oogie boogie. <laughs> Happy holidays, everyone! Zero? I told you they would like my Christmas. sunsets behind us we head back to Tomorrowland. Yes and you may be saying you guys are doing a lot of walking back and forth and yeah yeah we are trying to burn off some of these calories we're yeah. eating a lot today yeah um, but we have two more treats left and they're pretty good ones they are like perfect for Halloween I think you're gonna like them you think I am oh, like yeah. oh yeah I know you like them so across from store command under the old people mover track this line leads to the cart where that churro is, right here. That's what we're grabbing. Hey man, no cutting in line, bro. Oh, sorry, sorry. Wow. Sorry. You I mean, come I'm... for the uh, the churro, did you? Yeah, I mean, I'm, I have an addiction. All right, we'll, we'll allow you to join us. Okay, uh, thank you, yeah. Theme Park Obsession is in the house. What's up? Yeah, dude. I heard there's a pumpkin spice something going on at this churro cart here in Tomorrowland. You and may I have can... heard correctly, my friend. Yeah, I can't pass that up. All right. <laughs> <laughs> They've got the old bottle topper. I think it does light up. It's, it's Mickey. Uh, it's Mickey's face on there. You can kind of see it. You can get that here as well. There they are. There's the magic dust right there. Thank you. Thanks so much. Thank you. Okay, right here, what we have from the Tomorrowland churro cart is the pumpkin spice churro 
you may be thinking like, eh, pumpkin spice churro. People really have like some serious thoughts when it comes to churros at Disneyland. There's right. purists and then there's people yeah. who are like willing to branch out. Now, even if you would rather not have the pumpkin spice one, it's all about this cream cheese dipping sauce. Okay. It's a brown butter cream cheese sauce. Even if you're gonna get a plain churro, this is really the star of the show. Oh, uh, okay. With you. So good, that's why it made the list. Mm. It's like frosting. So good. I could drink that sauce. The churro itself has a really mild pumpkin flavor. I'm almost non-existent, but it's kind of fun for the holiday season just to have the, the orange sugar versus the original. But again, it's kind of like the highlight of the, of the show right here is this uh, brown butter cream cheese dipping sauce. I'm telling you, don't, don't miss this sauce. Okay, so our finale for things you must try. The grand finale. This is the must try treat. It's actually the trick or treat Sunday from the Gibson Girl ice cream uh, place on Main Street. That's right. It's got sour gummy ice cream with raspberry sauce. On this side. Gummy treats, fruit candies, chocolate ice cream, hot fudge, and chocolate candy bar pieces. So it's basically two sundays in one. And Whoa. it's how I like it because I always like fruity and tart to be on one side right. and then chocolatey uh, stuff to be on one side. So it's the perfect sundae and you get a souvenir bowl, the kitchen sink, maybe yeah. pants, which is great. I wish our I mean, kitchen sink had those kind of uh, right? faucet, uh, you know. Candles? Yeah. Okay, sour gummy ice cream. Are you kidding me? Trick or treat, Katie. It's so tart. I forgot how much I like this. That's so good. It's time for you to have the chocolate side. It has a Twix on there. It's kind of a twist. Usually she's doing the chocolate side. Oh, I'm going to hit up the chocolate. All right, but I'll, I'll, be, the, uh, I'll be your huckleberry. This makes the list because it's shareable. It's delicious. You get the chocolate, you get the tart. Very chocolatey. The chocolate side is very chocolatey. Yeah. But it's just so nice because you can, you kind of get everything all in one here. Because it's the best of both worlds. Having some of the sour side. Mm. For me, that's the side I like the most. Uh, kind of like a sour sherbet, kind of, if for all, uh, yeah, for lack of a better description. It, yeah. Really good. It's nice because you can go back and forth. You get all your like chocolate, chocolate feels, chocolate vibes. It's basically like dumping out your trick or treat bag on the on the living room floor after a night of, of running around. Yep. And eating everything. It's you know because it's everything. Yeah. No. But the kitchen sink. But in this case, we have the kitchen sink. Like, we actually it, have it. I mean, it's so good because it's separated and it has sour gummies. The fact that you get sour gummies, that's a win right there. Yeah. All right, well that is gonna wrap it up from Disneyland Halloween time. Must have foods, treats, and snacks. Yes, uh, if you're coming to the park, we highly suggest you have at least one or two of these items that we tried. We're stuffed. It took us an entire day to get through all of that. Oh my gosh, yeah. So <laughs> worth it though. It is delicious. Um, so if you enjoyed this video or found it helpful in any way, you can let us know by giving it a thumbs up. And you definitely do not want to forget to subscribe to our channel as we have so much more from Disneyland, DCA. Uh, we even got Walt Disney World coming very soon. We do. I'm very excited about that. And uh, make sure to hit your post notification so you know when we go live and when new videos come out. And we will see you next time on Best Life and Beyond. Bye-bye, everybody. Don't tell me you're passing by. I'm a shadow. The moon at night is filling your dreams. I got a dog.